Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone above, below, or in between, welcome back. And this is going to be one of those strange little episodes that I very rarely do. But it finally happened. It finally happened, folks. Uh, my mom actually called me up last night and asked for the news. Because straight up, all that they were covering was pretty much uh, Trump's false... You know, a bunch of ladies from 30 years back, or God knows how long ago, claiming, falsely claiming that Trump had uh, sexually assaulted them or inappropriate touching or whatever the hell. You know, just fools coming out of the woodwork, left, right, and center. It's freaking disgusting. And it's all day, all night, no end in sight. And you know, my mom just, you know, she's a nice little church. She's a nice little church lady, you know, and it's really impressive, folks, because. Nine times out of ten, if you put on a suit and tie and you get on TV, she, you know, my mom's going to believe you because that's got to be the truth. You need an eye, your eyes and ears. Your eye and a suit said it on TV. It's got to be fact. But uh, even my mom said, this is nonsense. This is nonsense. Son, tell me the news. And I was like, all right, mom, get a pen out. And, of course, I just drew up a list real quick. I'm going to read to you the same list that I gave her. So at the tip top that we got, we got Mark Dice with ABC's The View host calls Bill Clinton's sex victims tramps. Next on the list, we got Gabor Zolna. Democrats are all in absolute panic mode. And he's talking about the rally turnups and pretty much turnouts and pretty much how you have to pay ticket scalpers for Trump's uh, events. And on Craig's list, you'll notice... Dem Democrats are paying you to show up at Clinton events. And that's pretty much what that story's on. Infowars, hacker claims, racist Hillary Tate, set to be released. And of course, I didn't bother with the source on this one, because you type in Floyd, Floyd Mayweather, you're going to find it. Floyd Mayweather decided to tell the press, all lives matter. Moving on to the next one, we got Dabu77, and that's capital D-A-H-B-O-0-7-7. -O and this is for all you business fans out there, that's H-S-B-C, issues, red alert, warning, severe fall, in the stock market. Next up, and because, like I said, my mom's a, a God-fearing woman and a Jesus-loving type, I gotta put in a religious type, so that's gonna be Paul Begley. Russia prepares for nuclear war, and of course on this one he's talking about the students studying abroad being recalled. Parents too. All of them. Return to the motherland. Return to Russia. Moving on to the next one. Infowars, WikiLeaks, Clinton revelations overshadowed by faux Trump scandal. And folks, yeah, I'll explain that term faux because my mom was stumbling. She was like, faux, faux? And she kept... And she kept thinking that I that I meant foe as an F O E, and I was like, no, mom, foe as an F A U X, as in false. She's like, oh, I got it, I got it. So you know, for all you guys typing that shit in at home, there you go. Next up, we got the doctor of common sense. Women lying on Donald Trump about sexual assault, and I can prove it. Damn it! And of course, before anybody asks, yeah, I do share those kind of news stories with my mom. I do. I do because my mom, you know, she she likes a bit of the local. She likes a bit of. She likes hearing it from the locals too. She likes hearing it from from everybody. She likes hearing it from folks from all walks of life. So will I? Will I? Will I t share this with my mom? Hell yeah. You know, no issues about it. The guy's solid. The guy's good. Does he go? Does he go off on a tangent sometime? Yeah, he does. Same thing with Gabor Zolina. Lord knows there are times he doesn't check his language. But you know, I actually, I actually had to have that conversation with somebody, and they're like, "You told you, you, you shared that with your mom." I was like, "Yeah, pop, why not?" She's a, she's a big lady. She so can take it. She already gave birth to three of your kids. I mean, what has she not? You know what I mean? She's already gone through God knows how many presidents. Uh, never mind. I, I'm, I'm not gonna get into that. That's just, that's just personal shit. Moving right along, next one, Alex Jones, Paul Joseph Watson, and Stephen Mollyhew, and God forbid me if I ever, ever mispronounce that name, but I mean, I don't speak French, so whatever. 
title is, What They Are Not Telling You About the Trump Scandal. I strongly recommend everybody check that out. Matter of fact, check out InfoWars, the entire uh, compilation that they got. They got Paul, Paul Joseph Watson up there for two hours. Matter of fact, the whole day yesterday, go ahead and check out uh, all, all of InfoWars. Check out a bit of Rebel Media, check out a bit of uh, Western Journalism, WikiLeaks. Y y'all know where to go. Y'all know where to go. And anyway, NRA, apparently they got a new YouTube show up there. And they're covering Second Amendment news, crime news, or better yet, uh, crime, uh, p uh, common people repelling crime, really, is pretty much what that is. You know, the good guy with the gun, save the day kind of, kind of situations. Yeah, the stories that the news will not do at all, ever. And plus, they'll tell you every time there's a new bill to vote for or against to protect your right to bear arms. So I strongly recommend hooking up with the NRA on the YouTubes. V does a show on SJWs, this time blocking roads and traffic. <laughs> and if you if you know V from Romania, you know it's going to be a heck of a show. You know it's going to be pretty entertaining. Western journalism. And this one's this time they're covering the Haiti story and the Clinton Foundation. I shouldn't have to tell you what's going on there. I'm pretty sure that nobody shot away from explaining that on any news channel. But if they do, go check out Western journalism. Resistance news, and this, this, this just a uh, this, this is this is really cool right here, folks. The Scalia death, Justice Scalia, and his death. People are now re-examining the facts after the WikiLeaks drops and suspect foul play, and of course that's with the the Joe Podesta, John Podesta uh, emails with the WikiLeaks emails, Mr. J Podesta emails. But the WikiLeaks drops on that, so go check that out, folks. I, I looked into it, and yeah, I'm so, I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to suspect foul play myself. Dude found with a pillow over his head, no, and there was no uh, autopsy. I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to wonder why is that? Why no autopsy? Kind of strange. Moving right along, we got Owen Schroyer with Infowars and Prison Planet Live. TV has a new Law and Order. SVU episode inspired by the questionable accusations of rape against Trump. And I think we all can pretty much figure out from the title what, what, what this story is going to be about. I watched it. I, I loved it. But I got one question for, uh, for some folks out there. Yo, Gamergate, any of this sound familiar? Any of it? Just asking. You might want to get on this. Just a thought. Moving right along to the next one. <laughs> Black Pigeon Speaks. Hillary and Kane Reagan won election at a time. And that's Mr. Black Pigeon Speaks, and that's a pretty good episode, folks. I strongly recommend that. And again, that's this is all inspired by WikiLeaks. Gotta hand it to Julian Assange. He knows how to stir it all up. Okay, we got the Info Warrior here with cameras banned at rallies to protect Hillary from seizures. Seizures. How sick is this woman? I mean, seriously, how how many how many illnesses does one person gotta have? Man, she should drop out due to the health alone. I mean, damn. But you know, let's just move right along. Moving right along. Breitbart News. Hillary supporters attack a Bill Clinton is a rapist protester. That's right, folks. More violence on the Democratic end. Every single time. Every time. And I'm sick of that nonsense. But anyway, that's the list of, uh, of, of, uh, of sources and, and news to look up in case you missed the news yesterday. Because all, all they were talking about is the, is the, new, is the new scandals. The new scandals surrounding Trump. And we all know it's bullshit. Everybody is. That's why I got this that's why I got this image up on screen with Millennial Millie there. Breaking Trump crowd shames the mainstream media at Cincinnati, Ohio rally. And I gotta tell you, man, God bless America. When I saw that, when I saw them booing it, I mean it was cool as shit. I loved it. The American people, they're tired. They're hurt. They're angry. You know, we're downtrodden, we're beaten, 
in so many different ways. We're taxed to death. We're tired of being poor. We're tired of being without work. We're tired of seeing this country that we all love go to shit. The mainstream media, what are they doing? What are they doing? They're selling out. But we're tired of that crap. I love every minute of this stuff. So anyway, folks, that's the news. That's pretty much the news of what I told my mom. I strongly recommend you guys check that out. You know, and uh, there you go. That's pretty much it. So, you know, we had a nice little bonding moment. And we had, we had a few moments of levity. We had a few moments of comedy. Uh, it, was, it was a really good day. Really good day. Now I have no issues about telling people uh, how things went. Because I, I got I to gotta tell you, folks, when you mess around on Twitter and you, you, you get into some of these arguments with some of these idiots that are just freaking liars, man, just lying straight up. They try to get into the legal news and they try to tell you, uh, like, take, for example, I, 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 had to, I, I had a freaking argument with this one guy about, uh, about all these Afghan troops that wound up missing on U.S. soil. And he was just trying. He was just deaf, trying to trying to ignore the problem so fucking much, trying to sidestep that, trying to say, "Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You have more, a bigger chance of of having a comp crime committed against you by somebody you know, by somebody you know." He was just trying to push the bullshit so fucking hard, and I'm just sitting here like, "Dude, I'll take my chances." <laughs> He's like, "Oh, oh, oh, I got, I got backup. I, I, I don't care, man." I don't care if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna die tomorrow. I'd rather it be by a fucking American than some fool from out from some other country. That's gonna that you know what I mean. That's that's being given extra privileges over me because the Democrats want it that way because they know they get votes that way. Fuck those guys. And they'll and you, and if it, if it ain't gonna be me that they're gonna get, it's definitely gonna be you, sir. And it sounds to me like you got bigger problems than I do if you want me to be more afraid of my fellow citizen than some foreign, foreign dude coming from some other country that ain't got nothing to lose. Anyway, that's just me on that. This is going to be the Fox Gibson, and I'm going to be signing out. I'm not going to be tying up too much of your time because this should have just been a 10-minute show. But I decided to get a little bit talky. Good luck to all. Good luck in your projects. Peace.